Uh, but we're going ahead anyway. Um, it sounds a little funny. Uh, and also, I'm having to lean over here, which is kind of weird. <laughs> uh, we have to sort that out. And the cable really should be much longer. <laughs> it's a long story. Some of you might remember Rodney Hansen. He worked for us for a while. And he decided to make this really short microphone cable. And that was about almost a year ago. And still no one has lengthened the microphone cable in the FCC. But we will get to it. In the meantime... Um, Emily, if you, uh, yeah, where, where, where is that going to come up there? Okay, if you go ahead and press play, um, and we're going to cut to this, and, well, it speaks for itself, really. Yeah. Hello, guys. Welcome again. Um, just a little thing that happened last night during, actually, the early hours of last night, right about between 8 and 9, I was having a shower in my car. It's just over there. And um, my little house, and an elephant came, and he stuck his whole head in his front legs over the fence, pushed the fence down, and um, then he came to, almost tried to have a drink of my shower water, but anyway, that was a pretty awesome experience, my heart was beating like, uh, I don't know, a Grand Prix, Grand Prix motorcycle, and uh, Marco also came out during 2 o'clock last night, and uh, the elephant stuck his head here, and his head was here, and it caused a lot of havoc and chaos inside Warren's car, so let's go check it out. Guys, this is um, the culprit. <laughs> fresh, fresh, fresh elephant dung. I don't really want to um, touch it because uh, my hands are going to smell. But I just want to open it a bit and see what it's been eating. Mm -hmm. Nice. You can see it's been eating a lot of twigs and leaves and bark from trees. And of course, we had a quite good um, meal from Warren's Garden, as you can see, um, and we'll show you now as well. Lots of different plants that he's broken down, some figs. Oh, awesome! <laughs> Following an elephant's footsteps, literally. As you can see here, that um, the elephants actually came here and stood here. Footprints all along there and all the way up to there. And I think I must probably put the trunk in there to get a uh, just a little bit of thirst quencher from this uh, Warren's swimming pool. It's pretty awesome. You can see also the big size of the elephant's footprint. That's my hand. And this whole area here basically is the elephant's footprint. Very, very big. Awesome. Because <laughs> this elephant has caused havoc here. You can see here. I think this little guy had a pretty good, good view of this elephant. Got dung here yeah, again, right next to it. Actually, Marco, I wonder if there wasn't two here. But you can see this is total chaos. Picked up all these. This is, was some kind of plant that fell over. You can see here it broke the whole thing over. And this is a very big. I can't even pick it up. It's humongous. Wow. And there's it scattered all over. It's totally caused chaos since at least a couple of weeks of cleaning. I don't know what to do here. Poor Warren. Warren's on leave at the moment, so he doesn't even know what's happening in his backyard or actually front yard. Okay. Now, what... what what, what we need to do is we need to sort of explain what we've got planned with the next part. Um, as you know, over the, over the past um, few weeks, what we've done is we've allowed, um, we, we, we've gotten Peter to do the highlights but live. So he's done the highlight links live. And, um, and while that's quite cool, it, it tends to mean that like I'm doing right now when you're live, you, you, you tend to ramble and you think about what you're saying as you're doing it and, and, it, and, it, and it makes for long, long links. So what we decided to do with Rex in this week is something slightly different. Um, we did it, we pre-recorded the links, um, we chose the ones that we liked the most, and we put them on a tape for you to listen to and for you to record um, and to use in the highlights package for next week, um, or rather the one that we're going to broadcast next, next, uh, next weekend. Um, so 
here they are. Record them and link them up with the with the footage that you've that you've already recorded. And I think it'll work quite well. Or at least let's give it a try. We've got nothing else to do. Saturday morning with Mapoho, Marco and Alex went out to join on the Mapoho. Now you see we've gone and made a mistake. Uh, this is this is this is where. Because uh, I, I don't do this this often, that, that I've, I've really gone and messed it up. So we're gonna we're gonna just rewind that, because you're actually gonna need the video <laughs> as well, and uh, and that's important. So I'm rambling, I'm rambling, but I'm getting somewhere. Okay, all right. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I'm gonna switch to it, and and this should, if all goes well, turn out quite well. Here we go. Saturday morning with the Mapocho, Marco and Alex went out to join on the Mapocho sighting. When they get there, they find one of the centipede female, the last female who centipede joined with them a pochumel, and they accepted her on the kill. Saturday afternoon, myself and Marco went out, and we headed in the direction of Mapocho. When we get there, we have, we have realized or we have located the hyena that killed by Mapocho males because of the competition. On our same drive, we left uh, the hyena and we headed uh, towards Befesuk. We located a uh, breeding herd of uh, elephant, which were having youngster and very much protective on the youngster. We have realized with the ears were flapping up and the youngster with them, with the uh, breeding herd. Oh. Oh, I'm back. Okay. Um, right. That, that, you got the concept there of what we're trying to do?